Hey guys, the last dog here, and today we are playing some Terraria, and I just started lagging out of nowhere. Oh, wait, that's why. Ah! Crap. Run. By the way, I finally found the meteor, which is why I started recording. Yeah, the sword I've currently got, easily. Easily. Oi, you take damage by standing on the meteor? I didn't know that. So basically, you've got to bring bombs to mine this thing. Or... Another solution. Yeah. There's a meteor head. My sword, if I use the range star, star attack, it does like 50 damage. Oi, let's get out of the meteor. I'm actually going to pause it right here and see. By the way, meteor heads are very... Yeah, meteorite armor is like the best type of armor in the game, pre-hard mode. This started at the beginning of the world. Fewer than 50... Okay, so basically I need obsidian stuff, so I need to get to the underworld. Because, watch this, guys. If you stand on this... Okay, I guess I have to... Yeah, burning debuff. Which is why I'm building a little bridge down here. So I need to get obsidian stuff and mine... At least until there's less than 50 meteor meteorite oi oi I'm on fire yeah see the star does like 50 damage so yeah you really need to do this in like multiplayer mode. One person guards, one person mines. Or be really good at multitasking. Which lately I have not been. So I'm gonna have Dean mine this stuff while I um, guard him with my Star Fury sword, because I don't want to end up losing the sword. And I can make a Crimson Pickaxe easily. Especially with this sword, I can just probably, like, 10-shot Cthulhu. Or Brain of Cthulhu. Yeah, that's the problem. They just spawn so friggin' many. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill this meteorite, then build my staircase a bit more. This will make it easier to defeat bosses, apparently. 
Sort of obviously, I guess, because um, it is like the strongest or second, at the very least, second strongest um, pre-hardstone ore. But to make the entire set of armor, you need like 160. Oh. So I also need to use my hammer while I'm in here. By the way, I did get a Neon Tetra, so... Wait, I've got this thing. Stay back. This weapon sucks. But if I kill him with it, I get hearts and mana. So, yeah, because look. I was going to say if I even touch this biome. Okay. Maybe think the meteorite heads just deal a ton of damage when they touch you. Like, they do continuous damage. Or something. So, one, they're in great numbers. And two, they give you some sort of debuff. So, yeah. Guys, watch out for that. So, basically... Just now noticed that thing is a meteorite ore. Also, if you're standing on the very edge of a meteorite block, you only get like about one damage done to you. That's why I was only taking one damage. Oh, I need to heal. <laughs> Just use my greater health potion by accident. Um, that sucks. I need to store those things in my um. Oh, and now it's starting to rain. I hope this isn't a slime rain. Actually, I hope it is because then the meteorite heads won't spawn as much and I just have to deal with a million slimes. Which all I have to do is kill them and then it should be good for at least a couple minutes. Oh, for crap's sake. I'm gonna have to keep my... Yeah, the stars aren't exactly precise in their aim. So you basically have to keep either moving your mouse or just like hoping it hits. Wait. Nice. Yeah, if I die now, I will lose so much. Uh, well, one meteorite and two. Actually, how much meteorite do I have currently? Yeah, I still have the l entire lower half to do. I've only been working on this side. Lower half and upper right corner. So this background is just because of the meteorite, or is it just because of the sandstone? I think it's just because of the sandstone. Hi, meteorite heads. Defeated the 50th meteorite head. I would put that down here, but I don't really need it. It's, that thing's not really of much use to me, at least. Might be use, of use to Dean once he gets in, if he wants to be the guard. But uh, I can get him a good pick, um, good armor, at least an, good enough to mine all of this, if I haven't already mined it by then, because, once again... Meteor. I, I never look at my health because uh, I have an OP sword and forget about debuffs. Because it doesn't show you on fire. That's, mm. By the way, guys, if you hear that annoying crunching, that is me eating Doritos. I know, I am not sponsored. <laughs> it takes three each. A full set of meteorite armor takes... Questionable amounts of meteorite. Okay. Magic damage. Okay, ten. Plus twenty, so I can make that much. Plus fifteen. 
That's 45. And then you've got the space gun. Space gun takes 20. And then the hammer axe takes, once again, 20. Basically 20 magic damage, which is better than this by 3. And better by th than this by 4. And I believe if you have a full set of meteorite helmet armor, it takes no mana, but doesn't it? Hold on, I need to search what it uses. Requires 150. I'm going to check what the meteor shot is. Go 180 bars. Star cannon. Oh, this is the thing that requires stars. Ooh, I want the phase blade. Which I can get because I have a bunch of gems. One second, guys. Oh, just enough sapphire. It's basically a lightsaber. I'm going to get this, and what does my helmet give me? Six defense, five defense, six defense, five defense. So the armor is useless to me. And so it's a phase blade. So basically the only things useful to me are these two. The only reason for the meteorite helmet and armor set is so that you don't have to use mana for the phase gun. I'll keep both of them so that Dean can have his pick between which one he wants. I'm definitely giving him this face blade because it sucks. Um, he has a crimson rod, this aqua scepter. Before heading back over there, since it somewhat requires a featherfall potion, not really, but I like to use it because it just helps me get across the biomes faster. Well, not necessarily faster, just easier because no enemies can attack me except for, well, demon eyes. Wait, can this blow up meteorite? No, I don't think it can. Basically, I just gave him the best armor in the game. Crimson. I'm actually... Hold on. Phase Blade, useless to me. Space Gun and Meteor Axe. This, if I had those two. Drill Containment Unit. I have to be in hard mode for that. So basically, Meteor Shot is also the only thing useful to me. Okay, 
There we go. One set of meteor shots. By the way, I did that because I don't want to waste my meteor shots. Which means I need this gun. I'm gonna go um, turn in that neon tetra before I head over to that biome again. By the way, I do have one more gravitation potion, so if I wanted to, I could check for floating islands that way. But I want to do it using a sky bridge because, one, gravitation potions take a ton of resources to make. So basically, they're only available in previous hard mode via chests and dungeons. I'm hurting myself so that I can run away faster. Because I don't want to be stuck fighting a bunch of chimeras. Keep dropping Doritos. Alright, that's where I'm taking this to. So I did defeat Skeletron, but the old man respawns every day, so you have a chance to beat him every day. And you know what else you get from trying to beat Skeletron? You get the keys. Wait. So, one, I just wasted meteorite bars on a phase blade. And two, I wasted my some money and time trying to get meteorites. Like, sure, the gun is useful, because look at this. Oi. That's actually pretty cool looking. It also emits light, so that's useful. Ignore that, sorry. For some reason my webcam program opened up. Yeah, I can shoot it for a ton before I run out. Problem is, this is much less effective than my sword. Actually, they're about the same health, but you have to aim. Also, the way I got Neon Tetra, right before where the meteor biome was, jungle biome. Well, technically, desert biome, then jungle biome, but... Yeah, this is the temporary house I had to fight, what's his face, Skeletron. Yeah, goblin um, thieves do spawn here for some reason. Oh, apparently the old man doesn't respawn. Yes. Thank you. Um, a bit.
Sorry about that, guys. My gr grandmother came in and asked if I wanted food. Yeah, at first I thought this was like some tropical island biome because of the palm trees. But then, I found him. Just a sacra, I mean, competent fishing master. I, that's creepy. Alright, what's today? 13. In two days, Cat will get... Hopefully... We'll get something... Oh, hey! Gamer Show. He's the guy who commented on my YouTube channel. Um, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart my computer, guys. Um, so that I can do that if he says he wants to play. Um, but first, I'm gonna show you guys this. Oh wait, I've already showed you my sky bridge. Ah, oh, fair. I'm glad I'm restarting my computer, because Blood Moon. You know what that means, right? Monster spawns increased. Goodbye, my friends. And now... So I'm just gonna have to hope that this works. Yeah, I know. I don't know where it is either. Did you have a good time at Scout thing? Yes. I go and mute my microphone. My grandma thinks, oh hey, I can ask him a freaking question now. Oh yeah. She's a nice person, but it's a tad annoying. And then when I say I'm recording, she's like, oh. And then just walks away. Recording is basically the same as talking to out-of-country friends. 
basically speaking at least. Oh, two for one. Not really. This is why I don't like demon eyes. You know what? Fire the lasers. Hey, jump. Fly. Five. Lasers. Useful thing about guns. When the enemies aren't flying, you can just do this. <laughs> That's what I do during the goblin army attacks. Good thing about sky bridges, um, usually they have to. I think the mo the like enemies, like these demon eyes, unless they spawn up here, which with mine they do. Um, I think they have to have. Like some guideline to get them up, like my little pillar there. And then if they don't follow, because they have to bounce off of stuff to move. I don't know, never mind. What, they can move directions in the sky? Um, gonna move before I get hit off. Ah, problems about dripplers. They don't have to bounce off stuff. Okay, guys. I could actually grapple and hook it from here, but... Oh, that's that's sad. My uh my strange plant. Yeah, those things grow on floating islands, so they're used to trade with the die person, I believe. So I hope it isn't that angler changes his quest whenever you leave the chunk because if so I'm gonna be screwed for a couple for a couple hours I guess because once I restart my computer I can easily And now I shall float down like a graceful butterfly as I get hit in the face. Oh, gamer show is now offline. Is this a die person? Please tell me you're the die person. Oh, hey. Which bottle of dye did I get? Blue acid dye. I had regular acid dye before, now I have blue acid dye. Kill him. I'm just gonna sprint through here, get back to my house, and, um,. I'll not close the doors because that won't work. Um, hope y'all enjoyed. See y'all next time. Bye.